Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another COVID update from Konami. So uh, originally when I looked at this, they didn't have the previous updates on here. So they must have just updated this recently. But I wanted to bring you guys an update about what Konami has said about COVID. Um, and basically, as of right now, they are postponing all events until April 30th, 2021. So why are they suddenly updating? Well, it has been a year, June 30th, 2020, since they last gave us an update, which was just, they canceled all events indefinitely. And now it's been basically a year, March 31st, 2021, um, which I think the first update we got, yeah, March 16th. So a year since pretty much the first update, um, and now they're updating us once again. So they have delayed everything again until April 30th, 2021. And I wanted to cover this because I think that we could possibly see events come back um, at a staggered rate over time, right? So what I'm thinking may happen is that I'm going to guess that maybe by June or July, I think that we can really see events come back in full swing. Um, because you got to keep in mind that a lot of places are still kind of on lockdown. A lot of places aren't totally open yet. I live in Florida, and we're pretty much back to normal. I mean, you know, you still have to go into restaurants and stores and stuff with a mask on unless, you know, like the store owner or whoever says, hey, you know, you don't have to wear a mask you know, whatever. Um, I, like there's a couple places off the top of my head that I can think of that you don't need to wear a mask. They just don't care. Um, but the mask mandate itself has been lifted from Florida. You know, if, if all other stores were okay with it, you could go around without a mask. It wouldn't matter. So it's very interesting to see that Konami has said April 30th, 2021 will be the next time that they update it and they're going to evaluate from there. I still feel, though, once again, I don't think that we're really going to see events come back fully until June or July. I think until that point, we are going to see events staggered. We're going to see very small regionals. So maybe, you know, instead of the attendance cap being, let's say, 250 people, the attendance gap or attendance cap might be about 100 or maybe 65, 55, 50, you know, whatever it may be. I think we're going to see those caps for people be much more decreased. So you're going to have to get your ass to an event as early as you can so that you can sign up. Now, whether those things are really going to be enforced, I mean, I don't know. You know, the tournament organizer could see a bunch of people show up and be like, you know, our cap is supposed to be 100. Let's bump it up to 250. You know, I mean, something like that could happen. So, Keep an eye out on the website uh, as to when things could come back. Something else, though, that really kind of bothers me is that, you know, I've quit the game since, you know, a couple of months back. I mean, I pretty much sold all my stuff. You know, I've only got a couple things in my collection with me at this point. But how difficult is it going to be for people to jump back in when we've had so many things come out over the past year? You know, we've got Ghosts from the Past. We've got Blazing Vortex. Uh, the structure deck for ice chambers, ice barriers, whatever. I mean, just, you know, that's not really a big deal. But besides the point, we've had a lot of things come out. And I'm curious to know if it's going to be difficult for people to kind of jump back in, you know, especially with all these sets that it came out. I mean, think about it. When COVID first hit, we were in a format where Adam Emancipator and Eldritch were tier one. Now Adam Emancipator has fallen off the, the map. And I mean, really, if you're not playing in these remote duels like I don't, I mean, how difficult will it be to kind of jump back in? I really don't know. Uh, I know from playtesting online and things, I feel like I still have a good grip, you know, on the game and on the format and stuff. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens, and I really have a feeling that come May or June, we might start to see events pop back up. So don't rely on this April 30th date. I really don't think things are going to change within a month's time, um, but it's still something to keep an eye on. So guys, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you just going to say, I'm just sticking with remote duels, I'm never going back to events? You know, what is it that you want to do? Because I think remote duels are terrible. I've talked about ad nauseum on this channel, how people are just going to cheat. And I know several people in the Florida area who would cheat on these. Um, and we've already seen cheating in remote duels. So, yeah, there's that. That's why I'll never compete remote duels. I think they're just garbage. But please, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.